In the season of our uncertainty, in the heat of the moment, one woman defined what America stood for. After a long and hectic work day as a department store seamstress, Rosa Parks took a seat in the back section reserved for colored people. As the bus traveled along its route, the rows began to fill up until there were no more seats available. At this point, a white man got on board and was left standing on the crowded bus. The bus driver stood up and ordered the people in the first colored rows to release their seats. All did except Rosa Parks, who did not move. The driver asked if she was going to stand or be arrested. Rosa felt determination cover her body like a quilt on a winter night. She looked out the window and quietly said, you may do that. The bus remained still as the police were summoned. The sound of people's complaints began to fill the air and several blacks left the bus. The police arrived and asked her why she did not stand up. She responded, Why are you always pushing us around? With those defiant words, the civil rights movement was born. I took a seat that was just back of where the white people were sitting. And I, in fact, the last seat, and the man was next to the window, and I took an aisle seat, and there were two women across. And we went on undisturbed until uh, about the second or third stop when some white people boarded the bus and left one man standing. And when the driver noticed him standing, he told us to stand up and let him have those seats. He referred to them as front seats. And when uh, the other uh, three people, after some hesitancy, uh, stood up, he wanted to know if I was going to stand. I told him I was not, and he told me he would have me arrested. And I told him he may do that.